Hello everyone, welcome to the final installment of the retrospective interviews for KDE Goals. With me is Alesh. Hello, how are you? Hi Adam, how are you? I'm great. Uh, can you uh, tell, tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Alesh Paul. I am from Barcelona and I have been developing KDE for the better of the last 15 years. Um, I have been working in KD also professionally through Blue Systems, but then I've also been doing it uh, a bunch beyond. Uh, I am from Barcelona and I am also the KDV president, which is, the KDV being the organization that um, helps uh, the KD community and attain its goals. And you're also the current champion for the apps call, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> One of my tasks in KD nowadays is to um, lead the KD. KD is all about the apps goal. Uh, can you tell us uh, why apps uh, are the focus for KD? Um, sure. I mean, for, for me, apps have always been uh, very important. I joined KD uh, through an app, which was and is K-Algebra. Uh, but then uh, it's also part of the of the involvement that many of us have uh, with, with KDE. Uh, apps are very direct uh, towards what uh, you do in, in, in your computers. And I think that this is a very important aspect. Uh, it's also very important that, um, well, apps, uh, as a concept have been uh, evolving a lot over the last um, decades. And it was about time that we pushed it a little bit forward to and, and catch up with well how everyone else have been, have been doing it. Um, this goal was obviously, by the way, uh, started and led originally by Jonathan and I only took over a little bit over a year ago or maybe not even a year ago, um, yeah. And what changes have been made uh, during the time you've been the champion for the goal? Well, like I said, uh, Jonathan started, he did a whole lot of work on, on the website, on apps.k.org, making it uh, much more direct, uh, directly available to the, to the users to learn about all of the cool products that the KD community puts together. Um, from my perspective, I've uh, tried to juggle a little bit both my heads of the KDV and um, and uh, KD goal leader to try to make sure that this uh, happens uh, in the best of the ways possible. So, uh, for example, one of the things that we are doing, and this is just starting right now, is the um, the app source positions that, that we've just opened uh, from the KDV. So if you want to work uh, professionally uh, developing better infrastructure for KDE for distributing its apps, um, this is something that you can do right now. We can consider this as part of the KDE. It's all about the apps goal. Although obviously it's coming from two slightly different fronts. Uh, something else that we've been doing has been working with uh, Linux uh, App Summit. I have been organizing the, the, the conference and working with uh, several um, no members to put together this, um, this event that helps us uh, put in common a lot of the concepts that are always floating uh, for apps in, in Linux and it's, it's not trivial. Um, yeah, this has been a good amount of work as well. Um, and then finally, uh, I've been trying to uh, work with the different uh, sub-communities uh, doing apps to make sure that they can do what they want to do, uh, sometimes with better success than others, but that would be like the Windows team, the uh, Mac, Android teams, as well as the people doing Flatpak and Snapcraft. Yeah, you mentioned the position for for the uh, apps, different app stores. Uh, I guess we'll see the fruits of that uh, initiative in some time. Are there any other things that we can look forward uh, to 
regarding the, the apps call? I mean, uh, with app, apps goal or not, Kitty will be putting forward amazing apps, uh, many of them that I'm sure that a lot of you will be using on a daily basis. Uh, and this is always something to look forward to. Big part of the reason of the Kitty is all about the apps uh, is that we need that infrastructure that is not in the forefront, that is not dire direct to what you experience every day. So I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you, you will get it, all of these features. What I can tell you is that we are working towards uh, making it possible for everyone to get their KD apps in the best of conditions possible. Um, speaking about the goals initiative and uh, goal champions in general, can you tell me in your opinion, what makes a good goal champion? So maybe a way to answer this an this question is to think a little bit why we started doing the goals in the first place. Uh, the goals are a good way for uh, people within KDE to uh, coordinate at a horizontal level. Um, otherwise, and up until then, KDE had generally only uh, coordinated at the um, Per project level, there there was the plasma team, there was the KD Edu team, if you want, uh, or even like more specific, like the Chicken Pre team or Krita, etc. Uh, this works fine. This works well because it has a very specific product in mind and furthers it. But then uh, there's a lot of shared problems that we get to address or that we can address, and we have tried to address through through this goal. Um, or for, through all of the goals, for example, the Wayland goal could think about how does adopting Wayland uh, affect the Krita people, how it affects the Gcom Pre people, how it affects the KD Edge people, and then put the biggest, um, prioritize the different aspects and uh, well, solve the mo most important ones and thus uh, making the, the wall a little bit better for us in, in that aspect. The same applies to us and to consistency, etc. Therefore, a uh, KD goal leader needs to be someone who is interested in talking to the different teams and seeing what the, their problems are, their um, their concerns are, and putting all of this together and then coordinate with the other people who have the technical ability to solve these problems and well, put them at ease, right? It doesn't necessarily need to be somebody who can solve the problem themselves. In fact, it wouldn't be a goal, then it would be an Halesh goal, right? Uh, I mean, I do have my own goals, but if we're talking about the KD goals, it's about how to make it possible for the for the people in KD to solve the problems that all of us will have collectively. Uh, a good goal leader needs to be someone who can talk to others, uh, prioritize tasks, and manage them, manage them into solution. So it doesn't have to be the best programmer in the world or the best designer. No, uh, hopefully the best developer in the world and the best designer will be part of the goal team uh, to help uh, the goal further. And we have amazing designers. We have amazing developers in KDE who can help you do that, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so that you outlined maybe what's a, a, a good goal champion, but overall, what sort of themes would be good ideas for, for goals? What makes a good goal? Because I'm asking because very soon the process of selecting the new goals begins and maybe people are thinking about uh, submitting their own ideas and can you, can you share your thoughts about what sort of things or what kind of uh, goals should be submitted? Looking back, uh, I think that goals, uh, the most successful goals that I can think of have been good in two different fronts. One in to getting new people involved and give them a new outlook of uh, how to interact with KDE and expose them to it. And on the other hand, like I was saying, um, solving 
problems that are structural somehow and need addressing at a horizontal level. Uh, interesting topics are maybe personas of our products that we're not covering right now, like a product saying, let's care about people with specific accessibility needs or even more specific, right? Like let's improve KD software for blind people or let's improve KD software for helicopters or let's improve KD software in cars, right? Uh, something that is uh, that makes us all look in a certain direction, but not at a very specific problem, just in a general direction so that we can go all in parallel towards the same goal. I think that this is the most important part. Okay, so so basically to look at use cases for specific type of users, is that what you're saying? Type of users or generally um, use cases, right? Like you can be Adam and care about uh, KD software in a car or Maybe you are blind, right? Um, it's not different kinds of users. It's just different situations or, or yeah, perspectives, problems to tackle. Yeah, cur currently, Adam is uh, interested in having lo lots of apps on the Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam must be very happy then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, of course, Steam Deck running KD uh, in. Uh, and has the Discover store available, then yeah, the apps goal is important also in, in that way, a, a different device to to be used for uh, consuming KDE software. And not all, not only KDE software, of course, but anything from that. Yeah, no, for sure. And for example, the Steam Deck case is probably a success story of us by looking in a certain direction altogether. Uh, we were working on some, uh, in, in some ways, uh, things that as soon as the Steam Deck arrived, they just started piggybacking on what we were working on, right? Like when we started putting our software in FlatHub, we didn't know that um, a big company like Valve would say, and let's start using uh, FlatHub right now. Uh, but all of a sudden, all of this work was as valuable as ever. Uh, just because, um, uh, well, a ton of more users are, are starting to use it and enjoying it. So maybe a good defined and well run goal might lead to uh, a big uh, thing such as a Steam Deck for the, for the community. Not promising anything, but in best case scenario, why not? Sure, that's the kind of thing you have to say. Yeah. But it's all a matter of uh, understanding our users and in practice, all of the users that are coming uh, through the Steam Deck product are users who would have been very interested in a lot of other things that we've been doing as well, right? So it's not a chance that we were thinking about apps, for example. Do you think a good goal topic would be something that a person just thinks it's important for them, just for them. And it so happens that it's also important to a lot of other people. So they're just looking at their own uh, experience and, and the needs and use cases. It, it all depends on how well people can extrapolate their own problems and understand how they affect the general user base, right? Um, for example, whenever somebody tries or requests to join KD and ask us, how do I start? The thing I generally tell them is just find somebody you that is bothering you and address it and then find something else, right? Like you could also say, let's, uh, solve somebody else's problem, but then this also has the issue that, well, uh, you cannot really care that much about it. Whereas uh, if there, if it's something that, that you really need, that you really want it, it's something that, uh, well, you will be more interested in, in, in tackling, in spending your own time to, to, to address it. 
Um, that said, if you are bothered by having a button at the top right, top right corner in Krita or whatever, then that's probably not worth a goal, right? That it's just a pet peeve or call it what, what you wish. Needs to be something that um, people can empathize with. And in, in, in practice, that's um, part of the reason why we need to vote for the goals, right? It needs to be something that people decide to, to care for altogether. And my last question is, um, you, you already mentioned that uh, you've been uh, the goal champion for this for this goal only for about a year since Jonathan uh, was the champion previously. But maybe even in this shorter time, you have some uh, experience and some tips for people that might uh, think about becoming the next champions. I think that uh, embarking on a goal is not all that different than embarking on a different endeavor. Uh, if, if anything, it it offers a possibility for uh, somebody with a less technical perspective to uh, take leadership on, on an area without, well, straight away. Um, tips would be uh, think about the user, think about what it feels for them like to use any of our software and, and think about how we would be in a better world if after uh, a solution is put in place. Um, from there, if you're in a in an open mind and willing to work with others, I think that there's not much that uh, that can get in your way of of having a successful goal. Uh, talking to others, seeing how they feel about your idea, is sure, uh, a good thing. Um, looking at aspects of the community as it is set up right now, seeing what people are working on, and saying, well. If we did a lot more of this, we would be in a much better position. That would be something that I'm sure a lot of people would will get them excited uh, if it's framed properly. And it can uh, well bring a lot of uh, smiles to our users. Thank you very much for the tips. And also, thank you for, for the interview. That was the, the last, last question. Uh, thanks for your time. and. Uh, I guess, see you later. Yeah, thanks for the chat, Adam. It's been a pleasure. See ya. Bye.